and welcome back to another video of WRO 2020. Today in this video, I will explain to you about the uh, scoring and points. And But you should better check out the previous video I had made, which was about the overview of the game. So now, first of all, there is some man I think I want to mention that is not related to scoring. And that is the fact that there are two start points in this year's match. And because of that, we are going to have to write two codes um, for each of the starting areas. And it will be decided randomly from which area you will start. Let us start with the fallen tree. Now, this fallen tree that is placed in the middle of the road has to be moved completely out of the road because it is blocking all the cars and vehicles that want to get here and there. You have to move it exactly out of the black line of the roads. Even if it touches little bit of the black line, you don't get any points for it. If you are managed to keep it completely outside, you get 11 points for it. So now, let us move on to the power cables. They are placed just beside the original starting position of the fallen tree. We have to take them and put them in the areas where the wires are disconnected which are here in the hospital and there in the residential area so we have to make sure it stays completely inside the grey area or at least that these two white bases are completely inside here now we can keep this printed like this like this and however you want, as long as the two bases touch the grey area. You get 14 points for this and you can get 28 points in total for getting both of them uh, in the correct areas like this. But if so you uh, accidentally this comes out a little bit or fully one base, you lose some marks and you get only 8 marks for it. So now... This power generator is actually very helpful to us and the city. It is helpful to the city because it gives it power and to us it is helpful because it gives us 14 points for not moving it. And that is a lot of points. Now let's move on to these. If you remember uh, from my last video, it will be, uh, you may remember that this blue one, a blue water tank goes to the school. The mega power pack goes to the residential area, and the medical kit goes to the hospital. Now I'll be showing you the different conditions that can happen. Now let's start with the water tank. This is a perfect condition. How you have to place it? It can also be placed here like this, like this, or like this. These all are perfect conditions, and for that you get twelve marks. Now. Move along to this hospital. Now, if you accidentally keep this like this, um, you get only 7 marks for it. And now, if you keep it in the wrong area, like example, this power pack was supposed to be in the residential area, but it has come to the hospital. We for it, we only get 4 points. Let me tell you how I feel about this challenge. First, let me tell you the difficulties about it. The first of all is that the navigation is very difficult to do because the lines don't connect to wherever you want to go. The second point is that the start points are in opposite corners of the board that are here and here. And one more bad point is that we can't wall hug like this because then we'll hit the tree. Nothing isn't difficult about this challenge, but it's terribly difficult. The good points are that you get 14 points for not moving this. The mat is very colorful. And last but not least, you can topple in the supplies however you want. So now it's going to be a lot of hard work for me uh, because uh, 
I'm going to have to do a lot of code with my family on uh, solving this for the next 11 months.